Okay, time to uh, pick things back up here in the Truth and Reconciliation. Um, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't kind of dreading getting back into this part for reasons you'll see pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so do our launch game back at our checkpoint. So this next part here is one of the situations where there's a difference in difficulty. Um, this one's kind of an exclusive to Legendary, where there's going to be waves of enemies, I think. It's something like, it could be like five to seven or five to eight, something like that. It's a kind of random. Yeah. And um, there's enemies that have, uh, the elites that'll have energy swords. Now on enemy difficulty except Legendary, they'll be invisible. And on Legendary, they'll all be zealots. Now, where, okay, okay, well, I guess the first one still is invisible. Yeah, see, now, yeah, now they're all going to be zealots. All right. Ugh. Let's see, if you can at least, ah, uh, see, yeah, uh, he'll just carve through your your bad guys here, so... This is one of those cases where... Yeah, God, there's so many of them. Yeah, so you would think that, okay, maybe the Zealots part isn't as bad than the Invisibles, but... Like, at least with... Where now are they coming from? Um... Ugh! Come on. Okay, kill the Jackals, please. No. Wait. Okay. Please. Yeah, I'm about to... Love to talk more, but like I said, this is one of those parts that's really, like, essential to try to concentrate for. Where are these guys? Okay, good. Um... Oops, I didn't want to do that. No! Well, he's done. Ugh. I was gonna say it's been a little while. Whoa! Yeah, it's been a little while since we've seen uh, one of these guys bothering us. So I was wondering when we were gonna get another zealot. Um, let me reload this thing here. Ah. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa! Come on. Stop. Oh. I thought I was... I thought I was toast. No! Get away from there. And uh, we might have lost all marine buddies, but that's okay. Oh. One of them still survived. Ah. Well. Wow. That was a whole lot better than I ever thought was going to happen. I've never, ever had an, uh, any Marine survive that on Legendary. And I've never done that on the first try. So... Yeah, who, this is the royal we, I'm assuming, because there's only one of you left. So we'll actually see him later. He's going to stay there, and we're going to make a huge, uh, kind of obnoxious loop around here. Um, so, we got through that part insanely well. Thanks to our um, glorious plasma pistol. Oh, nice. Ah, ow, my health. My poor health. Yeah, we got through that part insanely well, so. Wait. 
What? How do you get behind there? Ugh. You're not supposed to be behind there. Oh my god. These guys are just spawning everywhere. Ugh. I don't think there's actually a health kit. Oh wait, there is. I don't know, normally I, I probably would have grabbed that a long time ago, so... Uh, I'm not really thinking about it. Um, since we managed to conserve a lot of our sniper ammo, we'll be in a little bit better position for uh, the next part of this. Um, well, not not this part specifically, but a part coming up later. Yeah. Because there's a big hangar we're going to get to in a little while. And we can get rid of elites. So wait, that's the locked door down there. All right. What do we want to do? Oh no. Well, we want to run away because I don't need that guy like chewing up my health. So. Now that I'm kind of getting over my shock of actually, uh... Ah. Ah. Yeah, getting through the, um... Opening Hangar Bay Battle of Doom. We can, uh... Ugh. I hate those plasma... Yeah, your, your shots never home that well. But, um... Yeah, so... There's a couple ways you can handle this room. Um, like I said, I always kind of like trying to take care of some of these guys on the when you have the high ground. Um, okay, as I say, I figured I knew there had to be an elite sort of hanging out here somewhere. Now. Yeah, now what you're meant to do is kind of go around that way. Um, we're just going to take a shortcut and uh, slide right on down here. Get ourselves a checkpoint. Now, at least we'll have a bit of a safe harbor here. And take out enemies, so... All right. So as we kind of just like do our random battling here, um, got to um, see. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember which ones I was able to watch um, since the last time I did a segment that I might have talked about before. Ah, but um. Uh, you guys can say these guys start coming in here. That's that's okay. Oh, for crying out loud, these guys annoy me. But um, yeah, I watched. You know, just keep watching movies. Like, well, since there's not much. To do, ah. Well, with the uh, quarantine stuff going on, sat through most of Harry Potter marathon on TV. But you know, even though I, I do have them on DVD and whatnot, it's like, well, well, I got nothing but time. So, am I worried about you know dealing with the uh, waiting through commercials and stuff? Woo! And, okay, I was going to say, there had to be another elite getting ready to cause me some grief here. Now. It did that. Um, I 
I don't care about you. I want to find out where this elite is. Eesh. But yeah, this, at least I can say this has been um, an interesting time for catching up on... Uh, oh, snap. That was bad. Fortunately, we're not really uh, hurting for uh, plasma grenades in this area. Yeesh. So, yeah, once we get through this level... Ah, oh, of course, I figured. <sighs> Typical... Yeah, once you can get through um, this mission here, the next couple missions will be a bit easier. Or at least uh, less frustrating to deal with. Alright, cool. And we get some extra sniper ammo, which is always welcome. Get rid of jackals. And that is... Alright, one sniper bolt to take out two grunts is usually a worthwhile trade-off. Alright, so he had, like, no health left. I was going to say, there can't be too many left. Yeah. So, yeah, normally there wouldn't be a whole lot going on there. But, uh, alright, so we're full on sniper rifles, but yeah, so. We got our marine buddy here. Not that he's going to be able to help us much, but it's actually pretty cool to have him uh, showing up here at all. Yeah, I hope you like long corridors. Yeah, if you can conserve some ammo like that, it's always really good. So, coming up um, a little later, there's actually a really... Uh, well, it's actually, it'll be pretty soon. Um, there's a really insane trick that you're able to do. Okay, yeah, so this is the other, like, really um, awful part of this level. So, yeah, when I was doing my first um, legendary run-through of this game... Ah... Yeah, I was doing my first legendary run through this game. Yeah, that first hangar um, took me a long time. And then this room was one that I got really stuck on for a while. Because I, I definitely did not have my uh, sniper rifle anymore. Where did he go? And if you yeah, if you don't have a sniper rifle, this uh, room can get very um Yeah, this room can get very hairy in a Ah, yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, you... if possible, it's, it's it's nice to be able to sort of camp out in here as as long as you can. Because, um, 
Eventually, there's gonna be there'll be reinforcements that'll come out of here. Ah, I can't ever get that guy. All right, well we're gonna wait for my shields to recharge because I don't want to eat up all through my health. All right, well. Okay, finally got rid of that guy. Now, I can figure out how to, you know, flush this guy out of cover here. Ugh. So, we've got all the elites. That's always a good start. Alright, so now we're gonna have to am scray out of here. Yeah, so there. You can see they just sort of spawned right out from where we were hiding in. But now that we got rid of them, we can uh, hide back inside here and yeah if you can any of these guys that you're able to sort of get rid of ah from up there is always useful especially jackals And let's see, that's another thing, like, you can sort of hear it. Um, it's like a weird audio glitch that's... Once again, it's kind of, um... Yeah, it's kind of, like, a holdover from the, uh, the port, from the PC version, where, like, when you, when you just sort of rapidly firing the uh, the plasma pistol it'll um, just sort it'll like sometimes make this the noise like like you were uh, overcharging it for no reason ah. and like I said there's a health packet over there and we do have an overshield available but I would wouldn't mind being able to try to save that um, for once we get a few more of these guys kind of clearing out of here. I'd say, yeah, there's... Yeah, some of these guys are kind of just hanging out around here. And, of course, more guys hanging up on the uh, second floor. There will be... another couple of hunters... Where the oh. Yeah, once we get a few more of these things cleaned out, be another couple of hunters that'll uh, make their presence known. And I forget exactly what level of. Uh... Wait a moment. Okay, there it is. Yeah, and of course, yeah, there's missing dialogue there because normally there'd be Marines talking about, hey, you should hurry up and stuff. Oh. I was kind of wrong. Ah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we went a pretty long time without getting murdered, so... Not too bad. Now I kind of have a better idea what I'm waiting on. I was a little surprised it didn't give me a checkpoint after that dialogue there, but... Not a big deal. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, 
Now, where are these guys that are um, getting all excitable here? Okay. Yeah, again with these audio glitches, so. Um. Yeah, and I was, I guess, I was talking with Legendary, like, this. Yikes. Yeah, I was talking with about Legendary difficulty. Wait a moment. I'm going to access the Covenant battle net and locate an override code to open a door. Okay, maybe I just did things out of order there a little bit. I don't know. Okay, there, there's that uh, elite. Ah, wow, we're kind of loud. Get over here. Oh my god. Okay, well I finally got to take care of him. Yikes. Not the smoothest way, but yep. Yeah. Um, like I said, like, I, I usually found, um, Halo 1 to be reasonably fair on Legendary. Um, like, the only one that's really broken, in my opinion, was Halo 2, in terms of, like, the classic, uh, trilogy, at least. Alright. Ah, fudge. Well, I'm well, somewhat fortunate I didn't get blasted there. Holy s yeah. All right. God, like I said before, this is so much... Ow. This is so much harder to do without a pistol, because... Oh, my God. It sent me all the way back here. Sucks. I really thought I was going to get a checkpoint. Oh, well, I got saved by the pillar there. Yeah, I fortunately have a, uh, the fact that, you know, at least as far as the PC version goes, don't have access to, um, um, the legendary difficulty for, or don't have access to Halo 2 on the PC version as of right now. Oh god, there's that elite. Leave me alone. Let me get a... Oh, those needles! Oh yeah, we're doing really well, and then, you know, thanks to awful checkpoints, we're gonna be stuck, like, at the very end of this room for forever. Oh yeah, and if you're in Remastered Difficulty, there is a skull hidden in this area um, that you have to be kind of... Um, really uh quick like you know because this door only opens twice all right i was gonna say let's flush out the elite there but yeah I, I don't know how um long it'll be until halo 2 gets released on uh on uh, the PC version is it took a little while for the Halo 1 to come out because it it started um, the PC version started with just reach um, now I, I say I'm like I just kind of assume that um, the Halo 2 will be next because it seems like they're kind of doing them in uh, at least a chronological order as far as um, the, the franchise is concerned because Reach takes place first. Um, I mean, I guess logically that would mean they would end up doing ODST in the middle of uh, like in between Halo 2 and Halo 3, but yeah, we'll see. I wonder if I'm able to Get myself a cheap checkpoint around here somewhere. 
That would be really handy. Um, there should be like elites around here somewhere. I'm not sure what's uh, happening with. Wait a moment. Okay. I'm going to access the Covenant Battle Net and locate an override code to open a door. Working on it. All right. Figure out what. Uh, figure out what door those clowns came out of was pretty helpful. So we can get ourselves a somewhat safer spot to uh, attack people from. Now, where is that other elite? I would very much love to know. But I know there's at least one more hanging out here. Okay, well, here comes the hunters, anyway. Well, we got one, and that makes the, the whole thing a lot simpler. So now we just have to find a nice way of baiting him to charge me and, and like, not... Uh, all right, good. We finally got the no-scope on him. Hole. Oh. Got it. The door is open. Everyone should move through now. All right. I can't guarantee that it won't lock again when it closes. So we, uh, I don't know. Fragmentation grenade and... All right, cool. So we got, we still got, we're doing good on sniper ammo. Although... And, uh, yeah, overshield for sure. Yeah, so we won't need it quite as, um, as desperately as we did for the rooms we were just in. Oh, wow. Ugh. That was like the worst battle. Okay, so I'm basically right where I started. Yeah, right, right, right where I started. No, uh, overshield. Oh, I knew there was an invisible guy up here, but I could... it's it's so hard to see him now. The unfortunate thing is that um, I don't really get the option of uh, ah. All right, well, we got him anyway. See, the good thing about um, visible elites is while you can't see them, they uh, don't tend to have um, energy shields. So they go down pretty quickly. All right. Yeah, plasma grenades are fairly abundant, so don't need to be too stingy. Alright, yep. Yeah. Draw out the elite. Oh. Ugh, this stupid jackal. Alright. That's the, the one thing that the temptation is, is like, you, you kind of have to fight through the temptation to get back into things in a hurry because it can be a little bit of a frustration waiting for your shield to recharge. Oh. And especially when the elite decides to... Yeah, just... Yeah, just sort of like... You don't know where they're at. Yeah, I'm sorry. Once again, I kind of have to... Guard, collect my thoughts every once in a while just because of... 
how stressful some of these uh, parts on Legendary really are. Um, I th I'm pretty sure that we're going to get, yeah, I was going to say that you get end up getting uh, flanked by some rather annoying people. That's the one thing, it's like, yeah, you're co like constantly getting uh, guys like just coming up right behind you for no reason. Um, yeah, we got that. I can't remember, I think there's like a way you can get extra allies, but I never remember exactly what uh, triggers that. And just likes to leave me with a parting shot there. Oh yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot else like really interesting going on with this level. At least at this part, because yeah, this part is very much just a okay. We're going through all these corridors, waiting for your shields to recharge and what have you. Oops, no, that's definitely not what I want. Yeah, he said you. You try to like listen out for things because yeah, I could hear the elite. Yeah, like I said, well, the good part is is that um, you don't have to worry too too much about uh, like really obnoxious difficulties. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna say, yeah, I heard the elite coming. Ay, caramba. Get away. I hate it. Okay, there. I didn't hear the door closing, so I. Hate to use sniper rifle bullets on him, but sometimes that's the only way to teach him a lesson. So, once again, you, that door there, you go, you're gonna go a certain distance down this uh, um, platform, and then, yeah, see the, you just wait for those red dots to show up. Again, no. Not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> you get uh, surrounded by these guys. Uh, Alright, well, we'll get the chance to see if we can do this part any better. Oh, no. Definitely not. Well, actually, it definitely did. Uh, have any? Um, nope. Okay, I guess this is probably as good as we're gonna get for this spot right now. But then we stayed in yellow health, so that's always a positive. Uh. You know, the best way to deal with this is um, to try to... Oh, nuts. Well, not... Oh, my God. <laughs> not, like, fall completely down. Ugh.
Well, that was a little bit faster way of dealing with that. To be very sure. Didn't even need to use an overcharge that time. So, yeah, you take care of these guys well enough because, yeah, these guys are coming for you. And you definitely don't want to be caught in between two different groups of enemies. That I can promise you. And you just have to be on the lookout for um, um, elites, of course. Yeah, so there's a couple more guys that are kind of waiting for you in here. And say, so, yeah, at least take care of these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, and there, I forgot there was yet another wave. Oh my god. Woo, luckily, uh, he decides to just get angry and not use his brain power. Um. Yeah, I think, okay, I think, yeah, it's like, yeah, right around that little weird, uh, uh, platform in the, f yeah, that little weird, um, pattern in the floor there. Oh, yeah, I forgot, because, yeah, there's another wave, I can't remember if it comes out of this door or that door, but, you, yeah, you do get, um, flanked by more enemies, always and forever. I mean, it, it does kind of make sense because you are, you know, inside a Covenant ship. But it is very annoying. And, um... I don't know how well it really comes across just sort of, um... With this, but, uh... There's definitely a, definitely the lack of music going on is like a little bit mentally distracting because <laughs> it's like oh man am I doing something wrong here or what okay so I go okay that'll trigger them and we should get let's see ugh. Oh, for crying out loud. These guys that just don't want to die. Yeah, so... Fortunately... I think that's the last uh, group of people that'll try to ambush you. And, um, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end. We're on the third floor. Now, I, I don't, you never got a chance, but there's, like, a huge skip that you'll see speedrunners do. Like, there's a triple grenade jump that, um, they'll do to get from the bottom floor up to this top floor. Which skips a whole, you know, this whole big chunk of everything. And then it'll actually sequence break the very end of the mission. Um... And I'll show you kind of where that comes into play in a little bit. All right, so we have extra health here. Now we're get, you know, we're back to getting music again. Yeah, getting rid of that gold lead is very important because he will like follow you right down this um, little alcove and harass the crap out of you. Um, yeah, pretty much none of the other enemies are, uh, will end up coming down here at all. 
But yeah, Sword Elites will definitely um, chase you in places. And they are very frustrating to deal with. And there'll be one more Elite. Yeah, as you say, eh, he's over on the other side here. Fortunately, that one was just a blue. A lot of times, he'll end up being like one red and one blue. Now, if I can figure out where... I'm going to say, yeah, figure out where that jackal uh, decided to hide off to. Yeah, we got the health there. I want to save that for... Uh, Once we get rid of these, once we get rid of all these guys in here. Alright, and then, yeah, there's a couple more guys that'll pour out of the... Our objective spot. So this is a fun fact now. Um, as you can see, it wants us to move on now. If you're... Lucky enough to um, have Marines. This looks like the ship's command center. Uh, yeah, if you're lucky enough to have Marines make it this far, they they will wait in this room here. They uh, they won't follow you. Um, I'm not sure why. I you know, and that's kind of like in the the novelization. Oh yeah, and, and there's another thing like terminals, secret terminals. There is a terminal up here. But the, you know, those kind of secrets, they only show up in remastered uh, graphics. So, yeah, I've been going a little bit long here, but... Like I said, we're getting really close to the end, and I, like, I really wanted to see if I could uh, finish the whole mission here and not have to worry too much about... Um, like leaving like a small chunk of it for uh, for like another video. Cause then, you know, the, le the less I have to worry about um, yeah, the less I have to worry about um, splitting up videos into extra segments. Usually for the better. Um, and of course, yeah, I was just looking at the time. Now there is an achievement for completing the whole uh, game on Legendary in under three hours total time. Now, um, obviously we're going to be a little bit um, over that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll be a little over that, but if you're going for it, um, the, uh, the nice thing is, is that, um, the game doesn't, um, make you do it, like, all in one sitting. Like, you can keep trying over and over in levels to perfect them and get the best time you can. Now, so, yeah, there's a gold lead there, and there's also, you can sort of see them shimmering a little bit. There are two invisible elites. And once again, this is another um, thing we're playing on. Uh... Yeah, we're playing on classic graphics is a little bit of a help because um, invisible elites are uh, much harder to see on the remastered, dip on the remastered graphics. Um, at least uh, I've always kind of thought so. And these ones are... These guys are here are kind of like really difficult to get a beat on anyway. Because they always sort of move around a lot. Alright. 
Yeah, sometimes you can just get really lucky. Ugh, yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, you can try to draw them out a little bit here. And yeah, we got to prisoners. There's actually two different detention centers. Um, one of them's an empty one. I think it might have a small amount of uh, of um, ammunition and health, but we actually have full health right now. You two know better than this. So this the last sort of annoying part is um, the very end of this mission turns into a little bit of an escort mission because yes, we're going to have Captain Keys and his bunch of Marines. Now, ordinarily, Marines die. It's not a big deal, but uh, if uh, Keys dies, that counts as a death for you and, you know, because, hey, Keys can't, uh, we can't lose Keys. Um, that's one sort of nice thing when you got to Halo 2 where, uh, like, really important characters um, are technically invincible. So, pretty much no matter what, they can't die, no matter how much damage they take. But, yeah, no such luck for Halo 1. Um, but luckily, this is really the only part of the game where you have to worry about this at all. Because, yeah, I never recommend having escort missions going on in any games, but, you know... Some, you know, sometimes, <laughs> hey, let's just put it in here. Um, but yeah, like I said, yeah, Halo 2 improved upon that. But it also kind of made, made up for that by making a lot of other things harder. So, yeah, six one, half dozen the other, I guess. And uh, just for fun, this uh, whole escort mission gets started off with a, with a bang. So, um, yeah, definitely want to try to, um, we should head back to the shuttle bay and call be a little bit, uh, conservative here. Because, yeah, of course, we're going to start off, you know, with a couple invisible elites that'll come in here and just, like, totally ruin your life. Ugh. No. I don't want that. You know, take out some jackals. And, yep, there's one more. Now. Now, now, I don't want to say that these guys, like, specifically know to target keys or anything, but... Sometimes it feels that way. <laughs> yeah. Where? Yeah, so... Obviously, you always have to worry about these kind of annoying things going on here. Yeah, that's a very big danger, is having those grunts throw grenades, because... You don't want to have them throwing grenades in this your party because that'll usually result in uh, keys getting wasted instantly. All right, so we got to make our way back to that um, control room area we were at before. Luckily, we get a checkpoint here. Now, yeah, like I said, if you had Marines of other Marine allies before, they would end up uh, staying in this room and they'll be dead. But as you can see, we have invisible sword elites. Alright. And I always kind of recommend trying to. Um, 
get these guys back in here because there's going to be a um, several covenant that will be uh, coming through into this room. And um, since it's a really wide open room, it's not great to have them... Uh, Hey, it's a nice aliens reference. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those now, the funny thing is, when you watch speedrunners, um, like they'll end up killing yes, off your couple of the off. marine buddies because that like limits some of the dialogue, and of course, they'll end up turning the marines against you too, which is kind of funny. Ah, and um, now the, another funny thing with the skip that they do. Is that um, it actually will um, trigger the end of the level like like as soon as they oh see no without the captain the covenant yeah I don't even know why or how uh, I gotta deal with these stupid sword elites again. Why, Keys? We made it. Ugh. Cortana, I don't know why it doesn't give me a, a checkpoint after that. Negative, Cortana, yeah, and you can see why you like to try to, um... Yeah, lure these guys back as far as possible, because... Yeah, I know uh, Keys is a tough guy and all, but he's like very bold. Show the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those covenant drops, so yeah, the more you can keep him away from fighting, because he has like no health. Yes, Captain. There's a covenant dropship still docked. It's always good. All right. Take advantage of the fact that they don't move as fast as you. Hey, all right. No, get over here. Yeah, normally you're trying to, there'll be a occasion where you try to like kite enemies and I'm trying to kite my allies. I don't want to do all this again. <laughs> okay. My fault. There we go. No! There's a plasma pistol right there. Um, as you saw, like, we've had, like, these elites that have the energy swords now. Unfortunately, we don't get access to the energy sword. In Halo 1, it'd be really cool if we did, but... You know... Alright. Alright, well, we're finally out of sniper ammo, but that's alright, because we got the last elite. So we just have a couple of these grunts. Get away from the grun... Get... <laughs> Get away from the grenade keys. Yeah, you think you're at the end, and then... Keys just decides to... Oh, is that a grenade? Oh... Well, whatever. Not for crying out loud. Let's, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry too much about grunts. I just want to, yeah, get rid of these guys. All right. There we go. And that's truth and reconciliation. 
Everybody, mount up. Let's get so, on board. So, yeah, the next two levels are a little less, uh... Well, the next level especially is probably one of the best levels in the whole franchise. And, um... Yeah, it's the Silent Cartographer. And it's probably one of the most famous levels, I think, because it's, it's sort of like the one level that... It's very sandboxy, so you, it gives you, like, a lot of... Um options for how you can approach it. It's, I mean, some of the levels, like I said, this one is very much a linear level. Uh, but yeah, Silent Cartographer is, you know, a lot more fluid in that regard. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, we got through that. Okay. A long, you know, it took a long time, but, uh, eh. <laughs> Like I said, I, I, I count this first victory because, yeah, that the first initial uh, battle went amazing. And the hangar wasn't too bad. Like I said, my very first Legendary playthrough, this level, like, just destroyed my spirit for, you know, a few days where I'm like, I just need to not bother with this for a little while. The island I, has multiple yeah, so this level, I think, yeah, this was the One level the that um, was the, the demo. The and um, so, yeah, we're going to, we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to go so I can get myself a, a checkpoint so we, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, we're not going to storm the beach or anything. But, yeah, next time we will be doing Silent Cartographer. And, um, yep, so hope we enjoyed uh Traversing that uh, Covenant battleship, and then you know, sorry, I didn't have too much interesting to say, but that level requires a lot of focus. So, anyway, I will see you all next time.